This is Tom Kane for Race Inside Track TV and this morning I'm delighted to be joined by Peter Fahey at his Monaster Evan base. Morning Peter, how are you? Morning Tom, yeah. Good. Peter, we're just coming out of our lockdown and our coronavirus um, epidemic for the whole country. How did it affect yourself and the yard here? Ah, look, it was strange times to be honest with you. Look, everything went quiet and no one, no one knew what was going to happen. There was a lot of uncertainty around but um, look, everyone's delighted to be back racing there at the moment. Very good. And I suppose for those who may not may not know you, um, just a bit of background on yourself and, and how you ended up being a race horse trainer here in Monastir Evan. Yeah, well, I started off as an amateur jockey, rode for rode for a good few years, then went to America. When we came back from America, then um, myself and my wife, we set up a breaking and pre-training. We developed into training then over the last six or seven years. Very good. And from my first time here years ago, the place has really developed and it's, it's a fully fledged training yard now with a lot of, a lot of winners in recent times, but be it uh, point to point, Flash jumps. You've done that. You've done the lot. Um, how many of you riding now at the moment, Peter? Yeah, we're around around um, 30, 35 right now at the moment. You know, we're busy enough. There'll probably have more in there for the winter time. You know, but um, mixture of flat, mixture of flat and jumps. Very good, very good. And the racing got back this week, thankfully, and and you hit the ground running early with a, an early winner in Leperstown with uh, Palabres, probably for your most important owner, uh, Burr, your wife. So good to get off the ground and a very good ride from Chris Hayes. Yeah, look, it was great, and to be honest with you, even even for a small race to start of the season, it's just to get a winner on the board. It just takes a bit of the pressure off, you know, and lets you know that your 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 horses are in good form and healthy and well, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. And what'll be the plans now for Palabres next? She's a likely race filly, so I'm assuming she'll do something similar again. Yeah, she'll tip away. She'll tip away, and um, she'll go back for 47, 65. She only got a few pounds for for winning, so she's still in that that low grade bracket, so. We we'll tip away with her, give her another run over over seven or a mile, and see how we get on. But um, look, just something there to stay in for them small handicaps, you know. Very good, very good. And we, we're here with your stable star, 16-time winner, Peregrine Run. Um, Annie Yard would absolutely love to have him to win 16 races, and 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 still looks have a huge future ahead of him. Um, what's the plans for him for this season? Yeah, look at him. He started off probably in the flat. Um, and we we'll give him a run or two, and she look our, our high aim, aim for the rest of the year will be will be to go to Galway for the Galway Stakes. He ran a good race in it last year, and I suppose we were very unlucky that the rain just came against us. Um, but um, fingers crossed that 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 will be his main aim for the summer. Yeah, and the goal race, Galway Plate is such a fantastic race now, a great prize money. As you said, he was only bet four lengths in it last year by by real good horses, and it's a real good race now. It's it's a lot above a handicap compared to what it was, we'd say, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, look at it's a very good race. Look at it, it's a graded race, you know what I mean? And so, it, the, the, all you do is look at the marks, the horses are running it, you know. You have to have a very high mark to get into it, it's, it's open calibre every year. But, um, look at we're looking up this, that probably end up being, being top weight in it. But, um, looking forward to, to aim for something big like that, you know. Very good, very good. And f Peter, you said you have 30 riding out at the moment. Is there any to look out forward for? You had ran a nice bumper horse in, in Nace just before the lockdown there in Cheltenham. Her name escapes me at the moment. She's yeah, right. Ha -ha. Look, we've we some nice bumper horses. We've some cracking bumper horses this year, probably. Especially, we've loaded them to kick on with, you know, and then we've some some nice horses to kick on for handicaps. We're, we're, we're lucky enough that we've a nice calibre of horse coming on, you know. Very good, very good. Listen, Peter, it's great to take the time this morning to, to catch up with you and wish you all the best for the season and hopefully when things get back and the jumps get back in again, you get to start booting in the winners and we'll, we'll catch up with you later in the season. Great. Thanks, Tom. Thanks.